Hello everyone, my name is Vincent Dio. I'm a display reviewer and professional calibrator. Today, we're taking a look at this Xiaomi Mi Jia 1080p projector which has a laser light engine but does not feature the ultra short throw design that has been all the rage lately. It carries a gloss white finish which is thankfully quite resistant to fingerprints so you can place your grab mitts on the machine all you want. The lens is offset to one side but given the small form factor of the projector, you can place the projector as if the lens is centrally mounted. Talking of which, consideration for where you'll place the Xiaomi Mi Jia is of utmost importance because the projector doesn't have any lens shift or zoom function, so you will need to manually position the machine to achieve the screen size and placement you desire. It has a show ratio of 1.2 to 1, which means that you are likely to put your projector on a coffee table or ceiling mounted in front of you rather than behind you. The connections are found at the rear of the projector, including two HDMI 2.0 inputs. The cooling vents occupy both sides of the machine, allowing the Xiaomi Mi Jia to run with an astounding level of quietness. There is none of the high-pitched coil wine which plagued many recent laser projectors from China either making this Xiaomi Mi Jia the quietest projector we've ever had the pleasure to review. The native resolution of this unit is 1920x1080, although the projector can accept 4K UHD video signals and downscale it to 1080p resolution. As far as I'm aware, this projector is only available for sale in China. My review sample was kindly sent to me by Chinese retailer Banggood.com. I will refrain from making fun of the connotations here. My review unit came with a power cable for use in China, so I just used my own travel adapter plug. But you can also buy your own UK or US power lead with C5 Cloverleaf connector N. Unsurprisingly, the default language is Chinese upon firing up the projector for the first time, or you can change it to English, at least some parts of it, to make your life easier. This Xiaomi Mi Jia 1080p projector has lens autofocus built in, and by default, it will carry out an autofocus adjustment every time you start the projector. In theory, this sounds great, but in our case, we were getting some rainbow moria due to our show distance, so we had to go into the user menu to disable the autofocus and auto keystone correction while we are at it. Also, because this is not an ultra short show projector, Every time you walk in front of the projector, a full screen warning would pop up. We chose to disable the auto detection in the user menu too. As far as we know, this is quite safe and won't damage your eyes unless you are thick enough to get into a staring contest with the laser light source. Right, let's talk about picture quality. This Xiaomi 1080p projector shows a bright and punchy image that cannot be matched by any other non-laser 4K DLP projector at this price point, thanks of course to its laser light engine. Since the projector is equipped with the latest 0.47 inch DMD chipset from Texas Instruments, it doesn't have the chunky grey border that affected the first generation of 4K DLP projectors only a very thin one which totally didn't bother us in real-world viewing. Like other Xiaomi laser projectors, the Mi Jia effectively only has one picture mode that can be adjusted for calibration purposes. The moment you change any setting in any picture preset, it will populate the user mode. When it comes to calibration controls, the Xiaomi Mi Jia 1080p projector offers only a single point RGB balance adjustment which is accessible by setting colors to custom. We used this to align the grayscale to the industry standard of D65 white point, allowing colors including skin tones to look more natural than out of the box. If you purchase this projector from banggood.com, using our link in the YouTube description below, we will email you the calibrated settings we achieved on our review unit. Just email your bank good order number to the email address shown in the video. Remember, 
you need to specifically click on our link in the YouTube description below just before you buy the projector from Banggood. Otherwise, your order won't show up on our backend. And if we cannot verify your order, we cannot send you the calibrated settings as part of our agreement with Banggood. Many thanks for your understanding. Okay, continuing our discussion about picture affecting settings, there is no gamma control on the Xiaomi Mi Jia 1080p projector, so gamma is fixed at 2.2 which gives a bright punchy picture, although most video enthusiasts would have preferred a 2.4 gamma for watching in a bat cave. Motion resolution stayed at the sample and hold baseline of 300 lines owing to the absence of any motion interpolation technology on board. The projector's refresh rate is locked at 60Hz, so 24Hz film material and 50Hz broadcast content we get in the UK and Europe would exhibit some judder. Video processing is weird on this machine, and I don't mean in a good way. There's forced edge enhancement in almost every picture mode, even when you decrease sharpness from the default of 50 to 0, at which point the resolution would paradoxically degrade so much that you would have to put sharpness back up. Only the monitor mode is free from this forced sharpening, but of course, once you try to adjust the grayscale, it automatically switches to user mode which suffers from the undefeatable edge enhancement. When it comes to 1080p chroma resolution based on this test pattern from the old Spears and Mansell disc, it also seems that only monitor mode can deliver full chroma bandwidth. Otherwise, like all other Chinese laser projectors we've tested to date, the Xiaomi Mi Jia 1080p projector applied forced noise reduction to all non-4K video signals again except in monitor mode. But the better solution would be to upscale all your content to 4K before sending it to the projector to retain fine detail and film grain integrity. HDR on projectors is tricky at the best of times, and the Xiaomi Mi Jia 1080p projector just doesn't do a good job especially with high nit content. Exhibiting significant white clipping and posterized discoloration around bright highlights in the scene from Batman vs Superman which was mastered to 4000 nits. The lowest input lag can be obtained in monitor mode, which still exceeded 80 milliseconds, likely putting off most gamers. We couldn't get 3D working on our review sample with the latest firmware of 1.3.144 at the time we filmed this video in early 2020. The projector isn't returning a 3D capable edit to Blu-ray players, so an error message would appear. Even when we managed to force 3D output from our OPPO 203 player, we found that after a lot of fuffing about, the projector only succeeded in flattening 3D to 2D, so we weren't getting any stereoscopic effect. Ok, let's sum up. If I had to use two words to describe the positive qualities of this Xiaomi Mi Jia 1080p projector, it would be silent and bright. It's a somewhat affordable way to get a big screen experience. But like other Xiaomi projectors, it suffers from many of the same issues, so if you are a video enthusiast who wish to enjoy accurate picture in a pitch black room, then I don't think that this is the right projector for you. Regardless, if you somehow still end up buying this projector using our link in the YouTube description below, just email us your order number and we will send you the calibrated settings on our review sample. It won't be as good as getting your projector calibrated in person primarily because of screen variability, but it will at least be better than factory default settings. If you have found this video useful, please click the like button and subscribe to the HTTP Test channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.